Barack Obama might be a little bit light in the loafers. This is breaking news, and it's not from some tabloid, and it's not from some far-right kook. It's from David Garrow, who is a very, very serious biographer. He is biographer of Barack Obama. There have been a number of biographies written of Obama that are cheap kind of hit jobs. That's not what this guy does. This guy's a Pulitzer Prize-winning historian and biographer. He won the Pulitzer all the way back in 1987. He is not considered a far-right conservative by any means. And David Garrow is, is now working on what I suppose will be the sort of authoritative biography of Obama. And he has discovered that Obama wrote letters to a girlfriend when he was at Occidental College, which is the college he went to before he transferred to Columbia. And he apparently expressed his desire to do all sorts of strange things with men. According to Garrow, with Alex McNear, who is Obama's girlfriend, I think she wanted to have her role known. So when Alex showed me the letters from Barack, she redacted one paragraph in one of them and just said, it's about homosexuality. Why did Garrow start pushing? Why is this coming out now? I don't think it's coming out now because it's, it's an attack on Obama. I mean, I think this woman probably still likes Obama. But now we're past the Obama presidency. He's not going to lose an election or anything. And they just want the story to come out. And what Garrow realized is something that I realized when I was reading Barack Obama's first memoir. He wrote a couple. And it's something that you may have noticed, too, when you read Dreams from My Father, which is that it's a work of fiction. And Obama even admitted it was a work of fiction. He'd write about a girlfriend in Dreams from My Father, and the girl never existed. And he would admit she never existed. And, and when he got caught on this issue, this lie, he said, well, she's a composite. She's a composite character of different women I'd met in my life. Composite characters. So you're telling me your memoir is a work of fiction. And we knew that because so much of Barack Obama's actual biography did not line up with reality. I think this is one of the things that fueled the, the birther idea that he wasn't really born in Hawaii or something. That wasn't just some crazy, kooky idea that a bunch of mean, nasty people thought up out of nowhere. It's because Barack Obama had lied about so much of his biography. The story kept changing. One of his publishers actually wrote on the book jacket of one of his books that he was born in Kenya. But even, let's say that was just an accident. So much of his biography in his own pen, in his own writing, was fiction. And so now this biographer says, okay, Barack Obama you know, a little bit, uh, uh, a big musical theater fan, let's say, you know. Uh, what does this mean for him? I have a, a little bit of a different take than a lot of the conservatives do. But first, when you want to look good, you don't want to just rewrite your memoirs and lie about your past. If you want to look good, you got to just use GenuCell. Right now, go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles. That dark spot on your face, is it still bothering you? What about all those sunspots all over your body? Now you can watch them disappear safely and quickly in three quick minutes. GenuCell's dark spot luxury system does exactly what it sounds like. By using their world-famous microdermabrasion before the dark spot corrector, you will see the dark spots disappear before your very eyes, instantly, smoothly, and luxuriously. You'll be amazed at how quick you'll see results or 100% of your money back guaranteed. Go to GenuCell.com slash Knowles right now to order the new dark spot treatment system today. Say goodbye to those pesky dark spots tomorrow. That is GenuCell.com slash Knowles, K-N-W-L-E-S. Right now, save over 70% off GenuCell's most popular package. That includes this dark spot system. I love GenuCell. I especially love the founder, who's a Coptic Christian from Egypt, who fled Egypt for the American dream and has a great company with a great product. Go to GenuCell.com slash K-N-O-W-L-E-S. Right now, go to Hallow.com slash Knowles. It is clear that the libs are giving up their morals and any common sense. There's no better time to build a daily habit of prayer and meditation. Building a habit of prayer can help you cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Focusing on what you are thankful for can increase positive emotions and improve overall well-being. Hallow is the number one Christian prayer app in the United States. It's helped many maintain a daily prayer routine, and it can help you too. Download the app for free at hallow.com slash Knowles. You can set prayer reminders and track your progress along the way. Not sure where to start? Check out Father Mike Schmitz's Bible in a Year, available on the Hallow app for brief daily readings and reflections, or pray alongside Mark Wahlberg, Jim Caviezel, and even some world-class athletes. With Hallow, you can customize a personal prayer plan that works for you. Listen wherever you are with downloadable offline sessions. Using Hallow to connect with others who share your beliefs and values can provide a sense of belonging, support, and foster a sense of community. Also, you have an obligation to your God to pray regularly. Don't forget, that helps you, but you have an obligation, okay? So make sure you go check it out right now. Hallow. Go to hallow.com slash Knowles. Get an exclusive three months free. That's three months absolutely free at hallow.com slash Knowles.
I have a hot take on this revelation from Obama's biographer that he had homosexual fantasies and wrote about them to his girlfriend. Yeah. That's my hot take. My hot take is, eh. The, con- the main conservative hot take I'm seeing is, see, he's a uh, finook, you know, he's light in the loafers. <laughs> and I think, I don't know, maybe. He, yeah, he clearly, he obviously had these fantasies and wrote about them to his girlfriend. And, and then what? People are saying, ha ha, see, this proves it. Or ha ah, he's a hypocrite. Or, I don't know. what. What's the guy supposed to do? I, I'm just viewing this from the perspective of a social conservative who, when asked about this issue, pe- people will write in or they'll, they'll show up, they'll say, look, I have a same-sex attraction. What am I supposed to do? And the liberal culture says, well, you should just embrace it, put on some leather, go to Greenwich Village, you know, go to a bathhouse somewhere, live your best life, baby, go to a pride monkeypox party or something. That's going to be the, the way to flourishing. And the social conservatives have said, well, no, you should just suppress or sublimate that desire and not indulge it. And this, this is always a little bit of a hard line because you think, well, easy for you to say. I mean, everybody has certain disordered desires and affections, but that one's got to be pretty hard, right? I think it's very easy for us, especially those of us who are socially conservative, to say, hey, look, we don't have to deal with this issue. So yeah, sorry. We like girls so we can, you know, have a, an ex- a full expression of our sexual desires and you can't do that. So yeah, tough, tough, suck it up, you know. Okay. It's very easy to say. It's a very hard saying, I think, for people who have to deal with this. So I think, I don't know, what do we, what do we want the guy to do? He had these desires. He didn't, I don't know, maybe indulged in them, but I, it seems like he didn't. And then he got married and had kids and lived a basically normal life. And he said, even if he had these desires, he said, no, I'd rather have a family. I'd rather, maybe he just said, I'd rather have a successful political career. Or maybe I'd have this, that, or the other thing. Isn't that, isn't that what we want people to do? I just think if, if social conservatives pounce on these guys and kind of mock them, and then we're not giving anyone an out. So much of this modern culture, I think, it, the modern liberal culture that says indulge all of your appetites, it, it preys on society not giving people an off-ramp, not giving people an alternative. If someone has a or something like that, what are they supposed to do? I think This is why I think social conservatives should speak compassionately about them. And if, if Barack Obama is expressing some shame or some desire to cover this up, uh, according to David Garrow, he's not being given access to a number of Barack Obama's personal papers, probably for this reason, I think, I don't know, good on him. Good on him for feeling some compunction about this and not wanting this fact to come out. All about it. All about it, man. And that's the only nice thing I'll say about Barack Obama ever. So glad you liked that clip. Wasn't it? It was good, wasn't it? Make sure that you subscribe to the Michael Knowles YouTube channel. Ring that bell. We'll see you next time.